Hey guys, I'm back. It's Kilari. Today I'm doing my summer favorites. My summer favorites kind of differ year to year just depending on really like what's the new product out that helps do something better than the previous year and I'll show you what I mean. But anyhow, I'm going to start with for the rider. So one of my all time favorites is a Hydro Flask. Um, you can also get a Yeti, but brand is just personal preference. I have the Hydro Flask. These things will keep ice cubes, like actual ice cubes in water, for over a day. So I actually have two of these, and I fill them up with ice water. And in the summer, I go through both of them in a single day, sometimes even more. So it's always good to have ice water. You don't have to have like a fancy canteen. Just make sure you have water. And if you have water, <laughs> you can drink iced coffee, but be careful drinking coffee because it actually dehydrates you faster. So as long as you're drinking plenty of ice water, it's okay to drink some coffee every once in a while. Second, I always wear sun shirts. Now it's not necessarily like a summer thing for me. It's an all year just because where I live, it's kind of like constantly summer. So um, sun shirts, this one happens to be an Asmar Equestrian and today in California was election day. So I have like the little I voted sticker. Anyhow, I love these. Most of them have SPF, uh, most brand of sun shirts, I mean. Um, you can get the Riding Sport Cool Blast, the Castell, uh, Asmar, Tailored Sportsman, the Sun Soleil or something like that from Smart Pack. Like there's all different brands that make sun shirts. Sun shirts are really important because they protect you from the sun. Some of them have mesh on the underside. It all depends on personal preference. I have all different types. Asmar and Castell are probably my main two that I like the most. The most turn into the best. We're gonna go with it. Anyhow, second, I'm really a breech person but lately I've been getting into riding tights because they are so thin stretchy and cool I can't really like show you but I'm wearing the new Piper tights by Smart Pack so they come in three colors I'm wearing the Let's see if I can show you my shed is so messy by the way so these are the navy Piper tights they have they come in silicone knee and silicone full seat. These are the full seat. They're just super comfy, super stretchy, silicone. They have a foam pocket and they have black detailing and a wide, wide waistband and a sock bottom. These are great and they're actually a pretty good price point for a breech. So if you're looking for, I said breech, but for a tight, if you're looking for riding tights, check out the Smart Pack Pipers. They're super comfy and thin and breathable in hot climates. And, I think lastly for people are gloves. Now, I always ride with gloves because I have rubber reins and that can sometimes give me blisters on my hands. And gloves can typically be too hot in the summer. So I really like these Rokel Summer Chester gloves and they have this mesh backing. I don't know if I can show you maybe. Yeah, see, it's mesh, so it keeps your hands cooler. All right. And if you want to be extra, you can find tall boots that have ventilation, such as mine. I mean, like, why pay extra for ventilation when you just get ventilation after four years of use? That's a joke, by the way. These are so dirty, I need to clean them really bad. But, um, yeah, I've had these boots for four years. They have ventilation there. And then the little center leather piece is also broken. So when I'm riding, I get excellent ventilation. You can totally feel the difference. Right those nasty things back down there all right for the horse the main things I like for horses are riding equipment so for summer it's really nice to have a girth that's super breathable this is the new professional choice girth and this is what I meant by um, what I like each summer depends on the new products this is new so it's the it's like the contoured girth and it's kind of like a plastic but it has all these mesh ventilation ports and then it has a peel away liner for ease of cleaning. And then, I'm like, sorry, I'm sweating. You can tell it's summer here. It's probably 90 degrees right now. And I have the door of my shed shut, so I don't have awkward lighting or even more awkward than what's going on. But anyhow, it has a bunch of perforated holes. So that's really nice and breathable for a horse. Fleece can sometimes get a little stuffy. Leather is nice, but really sweaty horses and leather, it kind of will ruin your nice girths quicker. The next are saddle pads. 
So this is the Lemieux 3D Mesh Air Pad in the Euro Cut. I recently got it from Dover, but I have this in black that I've had for months now, and I just love it. So it has a nice bamboo lining. So really, any saddle pad that will give your horse cushion and protect them against the saddle is great, but it has to be breathable. So if you have a breathable wicking inside liner, you're great. Some of the PS of Sweden, or all the PS of Sweden, have this really nice moisture wicking material. Um, what else? The, uh, what are they called? The Weather Beta pads. Sorry, I can't show you because there's a huge stack. Um, I have a saddle pad collection video. If you want to see what I'm talking about, you can go there. I'll link it right now. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different pads you can use that have moisture wicking material, but this happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, you can see how it's an open mesh design and it has the bamboo lining. So it's super wicking and yet has foam to cushion underneath the saddle. So similarly to the Lemieux pads is an Eco Gold, which is dirty since I haven't washed it since I've gone cross country. But this is the Eco Gold Cool Fit pad. I'd say this is my favorite go-to saddle pad. Not this particular one, but the Cool Fit Eco Golds because they are super lightweight. They have the non-slip. You can choose what foam you want so you can take out the inserts if needed, but it's still super lightweight and breathable, breathable spine channel. So anything that's gonna keep your horse's back as cool as possible is gonna be the best. So along with ventilation is horse boots. One second. Horse boots. So these are by far my favorite boots. They're really dirty because I turned Mia out in them the other day and I haven't cleaned them yet. But they are the Magic Keep Dressage Sport Boots with the Artelage, I think I'm saying that right, the technology. But these are great because these colored mesh pieces are super breathable and then the inside lining is non-neoprene and it is perforated for ventilation. They're super lightweight and they don't hold water. So these are great and they fit every horse I've tried them on. So you're not heating up your horse's tendons and making them more prone to a bow or a strain. All right, next is Vetrolin. I love Vetrolin. If it's super hot and my horse just had a workout or a jump lesson or a dressage lesson, he's probably hot and sweaty and needs a cool off. So typically when he's sweaty, I will give him a rinse off, a bath sometimes, but usually just a rinse off. But it's always nice to throw some Vetrolin in a bucket of water. And I don't really follow the ratio it says. I honestly just pour into the bucket and just eyeball it. And then I sponge it along him. And if I have any excess in the bucket, I'll just dump the bucket along his back. So that works great. And it really helps to soothe the muscles if they're tired from riding. And it helps cool them off with the evaporation and just the overall tingly feeling. It makes them feel really good, basically. So I love having that. All right. Fly spray is also a biggie, but I mean, that was pretty basic. Um, yeah, that is everything. I can think of right now so thank you guys for watching if you have any summer favorites that are different from mine or any other suggestions for anybody else leave them in the comments down below and we can share them with everybody thank you guys for watching bye